Hi, Dr. Alina Kulchitsky, Boutique Body Works, Physical Therapy, Lifestyle Medicine, Nutrition, Fitness, and more. I'm going to show you an easy stir fry. Change up the protein, change up the veg, change up your spices, but this is going to be a sweet and hot spicy dish. So you know that Thai dish you crave at the restaurant, like Pad Thai, where you got that combination of sweet and spicy? Well, we're going to make it sweet in a healthy way because they use sugar. Yes, even in the most authentic Thai restaurants, it's literally white sugar being added to make it sweet. And so um, we are going to sweeten this in a natural way so we still get the flavor qualities without ruining our health. So first, I'm gonna start with getting the tofu going in my skillet. I'm going to use sesame oil. This is uh, non-GMO, but you can use, of course, organic if you like as well. If you can't find organic, non-GMO is a good second choice, meaning it's not genetically modified, the organisms. I'm going to turn this on to four, so like a medium-low heat. And then we're going to get our uh, tofu going. So, I'm going to... cut about, so I have this much left of my block, three slices. So I use the extra um, firm tofu. So they're about that thin and just kind of coat it, flip it back and forth so that when I flip it later, it's still got some flavoring of that sesame oil because sesame oil adds nice flavor. Now don't forget for your tofu care, Dump the water, put it back into your glass dish, refill with fresh water, and put it back in the fridge. Okay, so next to go with this, let's get going red onion. I'm going to move you over here to our workspace. Okay. So I've got already one started, and cabbage. We're going to use red onion, cabbage, hot pepper, and I'm going to wait to tell you what the magic ingredient is for the sweetness. Onion is so good for us because of sulfur compounds, all the allium family. So that means garlic, onion, leek, chives, those are all alliums. They have rich in sulfur compounds which help us um, to methylate. So every single enzymatic reaction in your body requires methylation. So you need sulfur for that. Um, also the cruciferous family of vegetables, which we're using today, cabbage, is in that family. Um, also are high in sulfur compounds. Red onion adds a nice flavor, right? It's a little bit stronger than say your yellow or white onion. So I'm purposefully using red onion for this recipe. While that's going, we are going to keep an eye on it and chop up our cabbage. So I have a cabbage already started. So this is just for a dish for just one, just for me. So I'm going to kind of slice it thinly. We are going to chop up quite a bit because this is the bulk of the meal, right? The vegetable is your main. It is the main part of your dish. Okay, I think that's enough. Okay, so I got that going. Mmm, just love cabbage. You can eat it raw, cooked, it doesn't matter. So I'm getting that cooking. Not wanting to waste anything. Picking up the pieces I dropped. Okay, so we're going to get this off the tofu to the side because we're going to need to flip our tofu to get it crispy. Now it's getting a bit stuck, so I'm going to lift underneath just to keep it unstuck while it continues to cook a little bit further on that side before flipping the tofu. 
but we want to get all our veg cooking. So if I was making for more people, I would use a bigger frying pan to be able to accommodate all the ingredients. But this is my trick for doing things nice and easy and fast. Okay, next, let's get our spices going. So I have from my garden two little serrano peppers. They're pretty little. So that's for me, in terms of my taste and spiciness, what I'm going to use. You use what works for you. So chilies have capsaicin, right? That's what makes things hot, the chili family hot. Capsaicin is thought to be antibacterial and antiviral. So they help our bodies to fight infection, to prevent infection. If you're sensitive, then don't use them. Okay, so I've got my basil from the garden. Now, if I wasn't seeing patients this afternoon, I would have put fresh garlic in the pan with the onion. But because I am seeing patients, fresh garlic will make my breath pretty bad. So I usually save that for dinner at the end of the day when I'm not face to face with people all day, <laughs> when I'm done with that. And so I'm gonna be using garlic powder. But fresh is always better, right? The more real whole food we use in our diet, the better. Now, the more plants we can get into our diet, the better. And if you can try to aim for 30 a day of different plants, that includes your spices and herbs, then all the better. Okay, let's flip these pieces of tofu. They are crispy brown now. So what, for plants, I've got the crispy, the tofu, soy, we've got the cabbage, basil, chili peppers, onion. So we already have five plants going on here. Yes, you can include your herbs and spices in your diversity of plants. Now my breakfast already has like 17 different vegetables and fruit. So that gets me over halfway there. And with this and dinner, I'll probably get that goal of 30, no problem. Putting garlic powder, this flavors the tofu. And ginger powder. Again, I choose organic. So my ginger adds another plant. So six plants. Well, and the sesame oil is from sesame, but it's not a whole food. And that last but not least, the ingredient to make it sweet. We're going to turn that heat down, by the way. So now it's down on low. And we're going to chop up just a quarter of an apple to create the sweetness. What do you do with the rest of apple? You save it for later. Use it in something else. Or if you're hungry while you're cooking and can't wait, you can snack on the rest while you're cooking. So we're going to dice this up small. And sprinkle that in. So this is what creates the sweet. Is real apple. Whole apple. Okay, I'm making this cut in half using my spatula end and then in pieces squares so that I can now mix it all up together. So by adding the apple, I now have seven different plants in my meal. And we're going to add some peanuts and brown rice. So it'll be eight, nine. I don't know if we should consider the garlic powder as one plant. I mean, maybe. Okay, I need to wash my hands before I touch everything because they were sticky from the apple. So I'm getting out my peanuts. Now I like to use raw nuts, okay, not roasted. It's not covered in flavorings. It's just peanuts, natural raw peanuts. 
when you roast any nut, they form acrylamides. This is what happens when the fats are subjected to high heat. And they are thought to be um, not good for us, causing inflammation in our body. And now the brown rice. I pre-cook my rice. So I cooked mine for the week in my instant pot. So I'm going to put in about a cup. So this is cooked brown rice, organic, cooked in nothing but water. Okay, so added a cup of cooked brown rice and put the rest in the fridge for another meal. So if we use real garlic, definitely we could say we have 10 plants. So this meal has 10 plants, my breakfast had 17, and then dinner, that's easy. I'm going to have meat 30 plus plants, diversity of different plants in my diet for the day. So at this stage, all the veg is pretty cooked. I'm going to turn this off while I stir it to incorporate everything and get that brown rice to be warm with the rest of the meal. So this is my lunch skillet and I started at 12.07 p.m. It's now 12.22. Really didn't take much time to make at all. So eating whole food plant-based is not complicated. It does not take tons of time and preparation. It does not have to be that way. Do not let social media fool you. All those influencers, you don't have to be doing what they tell you. Keep it simple. Okay, so there we are. We've got tofu, extra firm. We've got the brown rice. We've got cabbage, peanuts, apple, red onion, and could have used real garlic, but I used garlic powder, ginger, our um, sesame oil, basil, serrano peppers. That's it. All stir fried together and then we'll serve it up. Looks pretty good, right? So I cannot wait to eat that. And I'll be well energized for the afternoon. So I hope that helps to give you ideas of how to make a sweet and spicy meal using whatever chili pepper you want, or you could use chili powder and also using just apple nice and simple to sweeten it with so it does not have to be complicated didn't use anything fancy all ingredients that you probably have if you don't have fresh chilies then you could use chili powder um <clears throat> ancho chili powder or, or um, cayenne pepper if you have that whatever you've got but again don't over complicate it just make sure that it's real and that it tastes good so that you're more likely to eat it and make it again. Thank you and bye for now.